Yo, teacher. Shut up. We're watching. All right, starting. Let me know if the volume's good, chat. That was the clean transition. 大家好,我是你們老朋友大偉哥。Time flies and Genshin Impact has been around for a considerable length of time. It has been. Now we have witnessed this whole series of gripping adventure stories. Uh-huh. Genshin Impact is fast approaching the third third anniversary. So we will be getting anniversary news. Fingers crossed it's good. Okay, that's good. Is that good? Mug shots, dude? The fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in what? fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress. The truth is, false accusations, a lot of dude. Rules. All of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished. Oh my god! Oh my god! This Something is sick. bad will happen during lunch on the third day. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Sooner or later, all will pay the price for their The ends. music is a banger. Oh my god, he, look how he like, boxes and stuff, dude. Yeah. I don't care. He is a must pull. Get a little chilly. Time's up. Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. That was so cool. That was so. If Risley cool. does have a plan, what could it be? Risley? That's After how you say it. After being away from the sunlight for so long, even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. Uh, I have to. Risley. Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? Oh my and god, now, this is sick. Another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn. Oh, 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 new let, new let. The, mu uh, the, the music. The symphonic metal? I'm getting chills, dude. Oh, oh, what the fuck is that, dude? I find it difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. I'm confident that we'll find the meaning of our existence one day. Rumors. Say New area? That you were born New area. You inherently bring danger to those around you. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? Melazines can't be trusted. That goes for Nervalette, too. There's only one thought on my mind. Oh. Innocent bloodshed can be their debt be repaid. Risley, where did you take my siblings? Even if the truth may not be pleasant, what the hell is happening? No way to dispose of the leftover remains. They have ways this to transform Ring them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. It beggars believe just how carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, have failed to take action. Who oh are you? What are you trying to do? Please, Arkino. don't kill me! I'm begging you! Oh, is this what justice means to you? Answer me, Nubilet! You will see much in the human world. I'm and getting chills all over my body. Blessing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, 
You will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. The music! It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. Oh my god! 旅行者们,欢迎回来。不知道有没有和我一样的旅行者,每次看完这个节目, The chills, bro! What's the trailer? Bro, that trailer was so hype! That was crazy. 这次会由我来向各位旅行者介绍剧情和角色的相关内容。Wow, I'm still recovering from that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to what comes out next. Do me too. Let me just ask the way. Do you still remember the plot from version 4.0? Roughly, but it'd be great if you could give us a quick summary. All right. We first go to Fontaine. We help Linny and Navia solve some cases. But eventually, it all converges into the same case, namely the serial disappearance of a young women case. Meanwhile, for unknown reasons, the Fatui Harbinger child is judged guilty and incarcerated. Yep. Bonafide Fatui Harbinger, you're looking at logging up there. Surely there's a massive development. The Fatui aren't going to sit back and watch. New Harbinger, very perceptive of you. Arlequino! Meeting the Hydra Arkham Farina. Oh my god. Dude. And the solutions that Arlequino proposes are all turned down. But eventually, Nouvellet agrees to send someone to the fortress of Metropia to check up on Child. And by doing so, temporarily uh, keeps a lid on things. Of course, it falls upon the traveler. To help us successfully integrate into the fortress of Metropolis, Nouvellet, thoughtfully and considerate as ever, finds something to convict us for. I knew this would happen in the story, dude. We're going to prison, baby! It's always existed as an autonomous entity. Oh my god, the mugshot. Act 3 of Star Shining Death's uh, Fontaine's Arcane Quest will begin, okay? In the fortress of Meropide, uh, the traveler must secretly investigate a series of incidents tracked down child. It's worth mentioning that throughout the process, the traveler will receive help from some old friends and will also encounter some new faces, such as Riothly or Rithly, the Duke. Did you set up a series of investigation? Okay. Rithly, I think, is how you say it. Oh my God. Could you introduce the Duke for us in a bit more detail? Oh, look at his biceps, dude! Oh my God. He manages to protect vulnerable while simultaneously keeping the ruffians and troublemakers. Oh my God, so he's the... Okay. In fact, some convicts, convicts end up not going to leave after... Okay. Presumably, he's also a genuinely formidable person with action, right? There's always bound to be some uncooperative inmates in the fortress of Meropide. When you're dealing with people who won't listen to reason, your only option is to find some other way of convincing them. And of course, Risley isn't one, uh, waiting for abilities. Tell us how he fights, dude. His animations give me boxer vibes. Cryo Catalyst. Cryo Catalyst. 
Dude, that animation. Oh my god. He's our first Cryo Catalyst user, right? Finally, but he uses his fists. Dude, a Cryo Hazo. His combat style is very similar to the way he deals with other matters generally. Grizzly is also very skilled in managing resources. Okay, so he's got like weapon uh, enhancement stuff. Okay. <laughs> what a guy. The fortress of Meripite is, after all, deep beneath the waters of Fontaine, where the sun doesn't shine, and evil forces are at play in the dark recesses of the prison. <gasps> There'll be a story quest for him! Oh, nice! Okay, I know everyone's gonna simp over that one. A word of advice, don't break the law. Not else? the handcuffs. Uh, yeah, seriously. Oh no, I've committed multiple crimes. I guess I need to be arrested. Oh, please. oh my god. I love his fighting animations, dude. He looks sick. Yeah. Have a safe trip. That animation is so freaking cool. And he's our first cryo catalyst caesar. Oh my god. Perhaps we could take a walk by a riverbank or somewhere similarly fluvial. Nouvellet, nouvellet, nouvellet. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Silence, you fool. Oh my god. Be sanctified. He's so like. Hmm. <laughs> He's so majestic, dude. He's got like a water torpedo. What the hell, dude? <laughs> a Kamehameha. <laughs> Nuvolet left a deep impression on me. I say, I think everyone. Extremely powerful with an unfathomable aura. I mean, he one punched Tartalia. Ray Chase, dude. Nuvolet presides over Fontaine's judicial system and maintains the principles of impartiality, but when he's in court, his everyday life, he constantly is aware of his public influence. For example, he tries to avoid forming personal relationships or even collaborating with others. Prevent the impartiality of judiciary... Uh, dude, you're giving me too many big words. I can't read that fast, okay? He also has his own interests and personal life. Water tasting? Is it like wine tasting, but for water? What? <laughs> mm, yes. Mm, yes, this water is tap. Disgusting. That's interesting. Weird man. He's tasting it for the minerals. Yeah, exactly. Private and public persona. He loves the Melazines deeply and sees them as a lovely, gentle race of beings. Oh, he's a soft spot. Melazines are to be addressed using she, her pronouns, never the impersonal it is. I didn't know that. But it's true that the Melazine... Okay, I can't really understand where he's coming from. There's actually a special detective force that reports directly to the Ludex, known as the... I don't know what that is. This isn't simply favoritism for Nuvolet's part. The powerful side of the Melazines enables him to see what human beings cannot perceive. Oh, okay. <gasps> and we're getting a new Valette story quest as well, dude? Okay. Oh, we're going to be eating good for story quest chat. Dude, yes. Dude, yes. 
And what's combat style revolves around his charge attack. So he floats around and then does a Kamehameha. Do you guys notice that almost every Fontaine character has something to do with Hydro? Or no, of course, Hydro. HP? With HP? There's always something with HP. Droplets in front of him will be automatically absorbed. Interesting. Huh. Yes, and I don't like it. Oh my god. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, he does seem strong but elegant. Banners. Let's see what the banners are. Who Tao's getting a rerun? Oh shit, dude. Who Tao's getting a rerun? Venti? <laughs> Wait, what? Venti? <laughs> oh, okay. Cash flow supervision. And his weapon. And then more new weapons. Alright, our first redemption code chat. Venti and Hu Tao with Risley and Nuvalet. Uh, I am definitely, okay, we have a five minute break chat. Definitely going for Nuvalet, definitely going for Risley. I am not going for Venti or Hu Tao, obviously. Um, and then obviously both their weapons, but dude. So far from what we've seen, oh my god. That story trailer, I don't know how Genshin is doing it, but like they're getting better and better. That was so freaking hype. The music was on point, the action. I'm so intrigued right now. Like, dude, oh my god. I think this one's gonna be such a banger. It's gonna be such a freaking banger. The music was so sick. Like when they show Nouvellet, the symphonic metal was so fitting. Risley, bro. Uh, dude, the animation, I think it's his burst animation where like he like, it closes up on his like, uh, his arm and he puts the gauntlet on and then the freaking um, fire comes out and like the jets to punch. That is the most badass thing I have ever freaking seen, dude. That is like, like, oh my god, that was so badass. Um, I don't know. I, I'm really excited for the, the Archon quest, though, because us going to prison and I, oh, in prison, oh my god, dude, I'm 4.1, I think is gonna be a banger. I think it's gonna be such a good, like, update. I'm so freaking excited. And they haven't even shown us everything yet. I'm wondering what more we're gonna get. I'm already hyped, dude. I'm already so freaking hyped. I'm very hyped. How are you guys feeling so far, chat? How are you guys feeling? Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact. Erica Harlicker, voice of Venti here, wishing Harlicker? you a happy anniversary. Me and a few of my fellow voice actors have decided to celebrate by sharing- It's not Harlicker, it's Harlicker. Treats. I'll be making a Mondstadt inspired twist. Oh, that sounds on an good. Autumn classic, an apple cider float. That the was best good. Part about this on. recipe is that it doesn't need any fancy kitchen gadgets, so just get rid of those. All you need is a good saucepan and the ingredients listed here. If you're a younger traveler, make sure there's an adult around to help you with this, okay? First, let's prepare our spices. Start by zesting your orange. Next, pour your favorite non-alcoholic apple cider into a medium saucepan. If you don't have cider, unsweetened apple juice works just as well. Okay. Then toss in your spices along Cookie with the mama? orange zest and set your stove Let's to learn medium how to cook. high. Once it starts to bubble, reduce to medium low and let it simmer for 15 minutes. When you can smell the aroma of warm spices, take it off the heat and remove your spices with a fine mesh strainer and leave it to sit for another 10 minutes. Dude, I just or moved. Just I don't have a strainer. Then pour into your favorite heat safe cup. Okay. On its own, this is a drink worth singing praises. 
but we're going to add a scoop of vanilla ice cream, a dollop of whipped cream, and fresh grated cinnamon. Bro, it to new this heights. honestly sounds really good. You're using vanilla ice cream, but if you really want to let your Mondstadt spirit soar, you're free to use other flavors like cinnamon, pecan, chai spice, or even pandan. Light and creamy, mm. sweet and spiced. This floats. We need right into this duality. for real. But she's just like dropping things. She's like, I don't know how to do this. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary, Genshin Impact. Impact. What's an anniversary party without some warm, gooey, cheesy goodness? Hey, folks, I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny. And I'm Anaris Quinones, the voice of Lynette. Today, we'll be celebrating with a classic Brie on Crute. Don't let the fancy name Get fool you. should make a this cooking game, like a dedicated cooking make. game, a cooking All mama. you need is some brie, store-bought puff pastry, and your favorite fillings. We'll be using bacon, walnuts, and apricots for ours. This is cute. The full list of ingredients is right here. After preheating your oven, dice the bacon into small pieces. Then toss it into a pan over medium heat. You guys remember where bacon it comes until from, it right? turns crispy. Chop the nuts and dried apricots into fine pieces. Then mix them in a bowl with your crisp bacon. <laughs> and resist the urge to eat this stuff by itself. <laughs> Next, place your puff Based. pastry onto a baking sheet she lined it. with parchment paper. Cut the brie in half horizontally and place one half of your brie on top with the cut half facing up. Okay. Top the cut brie with your fruity, nutty bacon mix and top with the other half of brie. Kind of like a sandwich. If you Why have any you extra, just lay it in a circle around your brie. Use your beaten egg to coat the pastry. Then fold it up over the top of your brie like you're wrapping a present. You want to completely cover the brie with no gaps in the pastry. Twist the top and pinch it shut, removing the excess pastry dough. Finally, coat the pastry's exterior in your egg wash and bake until golden brown and flaky. I don't even have half this stuff, dude. Cheesy, but that savory, looks good. and a little oh my bit sweet. God. Brie en croute is perfect for sharing. And the good. best part is that you can fill it with just about anything. Try it with rosemary and figs, caramelized onion and ham, or if you're really daring, sweet chili pepper, green onion, and lob chong. Like a good magician, it's versatile, elegant, deceptively simple, and best enjoyed before it disappears. I'm trying to lose oh, weight, me. Lenny and Lynette. Who's okay, please. dessert? Don't worry, I called in some experts. I want to eat 12 of those right now. Literally 12 of them. That looks so good. All right, back to the news. <laughs> Aside from exciting new storylines and characters, we also have loads of brand new environments to explore. New places, thank God. All right. Love it. Hello, travelers. I'm very happy to be here today. We're happy that you are here. Environment art designer. Okay. In the last version, we arrived in Fontaine to get to know a unique local geography and culture, especially the underwater scenery, which was a novel experience for all of us. I'm really looking forward to the environments in store for us in the new version. Let's do it. The area behind us is the ruins of the old Fontaine Research Institute Central Laboratory. Natural landscape continues to reflect the purity of elegance of Fontaine. Oh my god. Okay. Floating squares? I'm for it. That looks sick. The scenery is designed to be ragged and desolate. Okay. In contrast to the refined elegance of Fontaine City, there's a sense of lingering sorrow. Like we're getting closer to the prophecy chat. Mm. Trying to convey the instability of the environment after the explosion was a major challenge. Okay. It looks really cool. I remember it was mentioned in version 4.0 no special program that you'd be able to enter them, right? Yep. Dude, that transition is so clean. The organization that you mentioned before the Fontaine Research Institute just sounds so crazy. Someone managed to blow up this whole area? 
It was a result of their experiment that went out of control. Okay. Hmm. They may yet cover the earth and sky today in the future, searching for means to survive. Immense energetic potential, the power of the shadow, the shackles of the earth, was once considered the key to the gates of salvation. <gasps> a new boss? What the heck is that thing? This is a giant donut robot. Huh. This jean jacket. It's a scary looking thing, dude. It's a baby. Yeah, it's a giant Beyblade. Oh yeah, it does look like a Beyblade. Huh. What's more, to gather intel on the explosion of the Fontaine Research Institute, the two we have also established a per okay. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry. Don't simp, Doro. Don't simp. Come on, now. Come on now. They're not real. Mm-hmm.自然是有的。接下来，我来再着重讲一下梅洛彼得堡。它与四点一的主线剧情是。They look cool. In Fontaine, criminals are punished by being exiled to the fortress of Maripai. It may seem like a prison, but in fact, it should be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. That's just a nice way of saying prison. Whole fortress is built underwater. Dude, this place looks huge. See, I was worried about not having a lot of, like, the, um, the underground that we currently have. I was like, it's not really explorable that much. It's just there for story. But it looks like we're getting more underground stuff now to ex actually explore. Cool. Cool. The place of exile for convicts from across the uh, facilities and the like. At the bottom of the fortress of Meripide, there's a factory where they produce all kinds of mechanisms. That's where the convicts normally work. Pertaining the pipes and the other steampunk elements from the upper areas, the design team is also focused on bringing out the repetitive aspects of the labor and the assembly line. We drew upon the modes of expression used by various types of installation art. Okay. Looks really cool. This is where they're built. Huh. Yeah. Rest in peace, mobile players. I can't wait to go look at those convicts. Due <laughs> the influence of Archeum, a strange ecology is developed in this place. What the heck, dude? That's a nucleus. It's a very good thing. It's a I'm guessing that we'll also run into some new enemies. Dude, this boss is sick. It reminds me of an Elden Ring boss if you have played that game. Millennial Pearl Seahorse. Majestic AF, dude. That's a cool look. Dude, that's so freaking majestic. <sighs> that is so cool, dude. <gasps> New fish? They're like robot fish. Dude, the new places to explore look awesome. Alright, another little break. Okay. Oh, thank you for the break. So that means a new code. New code, chat. Or 
Never mind, I lied Happy to you. Happy anniversary. I lied, I lied. I'm lied. Brittany Cox, or as you might know me, Der Princess and herself, Fischl. With me are my loyal Are these going to teach us how to cook ben these Crosby, things? Ben awesome. voice of us, main Fräulein. And Josie Montana McCoy, voice of Kaya. Not a subject, but happy to help Kaya. anyways. Today, we'll be celebrating Gensha's anniversary by making chocolate ganache tarts. <laughs> a royally decadent dish for uh, such an occasion. Stop making me hungry. In our princess's benevolence, we've included a list of ingredients here. First, gather your chocolate cookies this is cute that they're doing or it, though. plastic bag. Then, crush them like your enemies until not... Any banners or something yet? Yeah. Yes, they showed the they banners already. And melted butter. Stir Rizzly and uh, the nouvellette. Like sand. Firmly press your crumbs into the bottom the and sides of the pie tin. Then bake in an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 Celsius for 20 minutes or until it's dry and firm. Once the crust is cooled, coat the interior with a layer of raspberry jam. For the filling, simply bring your cream to a bare simmer, then pour it over a heat-safe bowl filled with your chocolate, along with a I pinch of salt. I hope Audie's taking notes because I want to make this today. All of it, powder. Powder. all the food. Let the hot cream stand for about a minute, then stir it all together until you have a ganache as smooth as Kaya himself. I am not. <laughs> pour the into your tart Are you still in bed, Audie? And firm up in the fridge before crowning it with a royal arrangement of raspberries. And for an optional flourish, try watering down some raspberry jam with a bit of lemon juice or warm water until okay. you have a thin glaze. Then brush it over your raspberries. This will lend your berries an iridescent shimmer. Mm. While darkly regal as a certain princessin, this tart is also quite flexible. You can substitute raspberry for orange marmalade, Man. And candied citrus, or nix the jam and top with hazelnut praline for a treat that's perfect with coffee. And if you don't want to worry about slicing your tart, substitute the large pan for parchment-lined muffin tins to make perfectly portioned miniature tarts. Smart. Mm. Truly a dish Muffins for royalty. Muffins over cake, honestly. And now, who gets the first slice? <laughs> Don't say Oz is thick. Don't say that. All right, there's your second code. I was like, are they going to give us another code? There's your second code uh, right there. Nice. Dude, I'm excited. So the new areas look really cool. The new underground prison or sorry, gathering place of convicts um, looks really cool to explore. A lot of detail. looks like it got put into it. The new floating island looks cool. The Beyblade um boss it looks okay it just looks like a giant hunk of metal but the unicorn though the seahorse boss that looks sick yeah uh this is gonna be a really freaking good update man so far this looks freaking amazing his poster is giving top and bottom vibes <laughs> don't say that okay but which one's top which one's bottom though New wallpaper. That's what looks like a good wallpaper, man, to use. I think this is going to be everyone's new wallpaper for quite a while. Noob's bottom. <laughs> That's funny. I can see that. Free standard character for anniversary. We don't know yet. They haven't talked about that yet. Exposed. I love it. Ooh, what is this? Astra Carnival, the Prince Cup. A new... Genshin Impact Genius Invocation TCG Tournament. Love it. Nuva is definitely a power bottom. See, I could see it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny, dude. All right. Cool. So, a new TCG tournament. Dude, Paimon looks so funny there. All right, fingers crossed we get some anime news and also quietly raging thing, the prime sub. Um, some anime news and some good anniversary stuff, man. I feel like no matter what it is, no one's going to be happy, but they might surprise us. I don't know. Let's see. In the coming of the third anniversary of okay, grand event is being organized in Leeway. I love Leeway. It's my favorite. All right, let's do it. 
System designer. Are you going to tell us about a loadout? It's only going to be very special. The banquet of this year's lantern, right? I do remember that. Many things about the banquet brought a smile to your face. It was also an opportunity for Venti and the people of Liyue to okay. I can't read this fast. Ah, so that's how Hu Tao and Venti play into the banners. That makes sense. However, something strange happened during the event, okay? Chong Yoon, who was participating as a contestant, claimed he had seen something that looked like an evil spirit. So while everyone took part in the gala, they also began to investigate the incident, yes. I'm sure there was loads of other fun stuff going on too. This time we prepared to do a special event and gameplay modes. Waterborne poetry? Okay, so we're throwing darts at things, okay. What does that have to do with poetry? <laughs> That's my question. And at least we're not writing poetry. I was never good at that. Okay, so shooting things event. Got it. A fighting event? I'm always happy with those. I remember this domain. I remember this area. Okay. It's pottery. Oh, they messed up poetry with pottery. Is that what that was? Yeah. Okay. Fighting event. What is this? A puzzle event? Oh, oh, that's kind of fun. Oh. Interesting. That one seems kind of cool. And you know what? Rewards gives us something to do. I'll do it. But why always leeway? Maybe they just like leeway. I don't know. I love leeway. And that you have all from unforgettable time together with the people of Mondstadt and leeway. Speaking of Mondstadt, please getting active again. Oh God, no. Oh no. Klee hasn't gotten into trouble this time. In fact, she's done well. While playing, she just happened to discover a type of invasive fish from Sumeru had made it this way side of lake. In order to maintain the ecological balance, it fell the Knights of Favonius to deal with this invasive species. Klee had to stay inside Mondstadt. She didn't add to the chaos. Lisa invented a fun little game for her? What is this? Okay. She's like, here, little one. You want to blow things up? I made a game for you. That's funny. 
在枫丹也有一些本应只存在于实验室内的奇妙生物，突然出现在枫丹的特色水域中。旅行者可以通过集中采购动物，帮助为此事忙得焦头烂额的商人姬肖恩。Okay. 通过回收枫丹水下各处的荧光紫水母，消除生态隐患，并获取奖励，保护生态，还能欣赏枫丹水下风光，嗯，真是一举两得呀。是的，在枫丹苍鹰区东南侧的水岸处，我们还可以体验到挑战活动——人生的活动。Event? 在这个挑战活动中 ，In this challenge event, travelers can help Fontaine researcher test pressurized impactors. Okay. 合理把握停止增压的时机，提高超高压冲击器。Didn't we have an event like this before? It seems very similar. 同时，旅行者可以根据出战队伍的特殊数量。I feel like we've done that before. 获取载荷。But whatever, fighting event, fighting event. 用来装配更高等级的增益模组，挑战更高难度的敌人。I guess the camera. 在四点一版本中，除了常规的热斗模式更新，对 ，I guess the camera. I guess the camera is kind of similar. 致敬演练也将再次开放。旅行者可以选择不同的附加条件，获取积分来领取奖励。Okay, more TCG stuff. 最后，在四点一版本，我们还会开启 Overflowing Mastery. Thank God I need that. 不要错过哦。Okay. The events seem okay to me. 给我们准备了那么多有趣的活动，看得我都眼花缭乱。They seem like fun. 已经迫不及待想去试玩一番了。另一方面。我们也一直在关注旅行者们的日常游玩状况。随着游戏运营年份增长，一些原本看起来合理的前期和常规设计，如今却成为了旅行者们体验中的。Like what? 因此，我们在四点一版本对前期的内容设计做了部分。You made some adjustments to the original design. 首先，我们加强了冒险等阶突破任务的提示，在旅行者们的派蒙见面和冒险乘客向导页。都增加了相应的营造。哦 ，OK。我们缩短了地城的通关耗时，移除了 reduce time and remove certain strong opponents。You're reworking domains for the ascension quest. OK。其实啊，当初我第一次做突破任务时啊，确实用了挺长的时间啊。这次的调整啊，应该能帮助到不少的旅行者。So they're making ascension quests easier. 我们还对每日委托做了一次。And they're reworking daily commissions. 随着游戏内容逐渐丰富。We've also done some other gameplay waiting for travelers to experience. So in version 4.1, we'll be introducing the adventure encounter system. In this system, travelers can obtain encounter, completing quests, collecting items, and participating in events. So apart from obtaining rewards by completing daily commissions, you'll also be able to exchange accumulated encounter points for commission rewards. Oh, okay. You'll be able to complete commissions after claiming your daily commission rewards. So those who want to experience them to complete the achievements can still go and do them that way. Okay. I mean, more primo gems for you guys, you know. 太棒了。我很早就喜欢有类似的系统了。More free mo gems. 区域或者活动时啊，总感觉要做的事太多了，自己时间不够用。那现在有了这个功能啊，我在体验其他内容的同时 ，I'll be able to get commission rewards while experiencing other content. 一举两得啊。Nice. 我们也希望旅行者们可以更多的享受游戏中的其他内容。That's a good update. I like that. Scrumptious. 除了版本活动与系统优化，在公测三周年之际啊 ，All right, anniversary. 准备了一些神秘的奖励。来庆祝这个特殊的日子 ，Helen 也来为大家分享一下情报吧。为了感谢旅行者们 ，Thank you all for your continued love and support. You get nothing. <laughs> the bathing and flowing moonlight check-in event will begin. Okay. Sixteen hundred primo gems, four fragile resin, itty bitty octo baby. Okay. In a portable aerodynamic gelatinous bubble generator. So ten volts. Okay. Look at the little. Oh, that is freaking cute. I'm gonna lie, dude. 此外，在四点一版本更新后，游戏内商城的首充双倍状态也将会重置。Yes, finally. Oh my gosh! So they just do that once a year, but I need that shop to reset, dude, so I can like top up. Oh, thank you. That 介绍完了那么多的活动啊
，听不听的大家不妨稍作休息。接下来啊，还有更多有趣的内容。Is that all we're getting for the anniversary awards? No way. I mean, that's not like the worst, though. You know, it's not the worst. I like the pet, a free ten pole. Oh, are we looking at pets now? Oh, this is the best. I like this. Yeah. <gasps> Those are、so、cute. Hey, no! Don't distract me with cute dogs. We're talking about the anniversary award. They're trying to do this on purpose, chat. They're doing this on purpose. They're trying to distract us. Is it sixteen hundred primos plus ten, or only sixteen hundred? From my understanding, I think it's only sixteen hundred primos, which is a ten pole. So it looks like we're only getting sixteen hundred, or is it both? So two ten poles. Wait, we're getting two ten poles? Did I misread that? Oh, okay. I mean, that's not bad then. Oh, that's not bad. So we're getting a ten pole, and then so two.、Okay, we're getting twenty poles. Okay, we're getting a new pet. That's not bad. And plus resin, four fragile resin. I'll take. I'll take as much resin as I can, dude. Okay. Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact. Not bad. My name is Ben Balmaceda, and as the voice of Kave, <gasps> Kave I'm baby always girl. looking for better ways to integrate artistic expression and practical functionality. I'm so happy to be celebrating the three-year anniversary of Genshin Impact. We know fans are three celebrating worldwide. Three years already, dude. That's crazy. What's a、That's、party、crazy. without decorations? Well, inspired by the enchanting landscapes of Tevat, here's a fun and functional craft that can really add a mystical vibe to a celebration in a matter of minutes. If you have any mason jars lying around, they can be transformed into fantastical、dude. yet functional lanterns. All you need is some small battery-powered LED lights, art supplies, and some creative thinking. I love him. Decorate the glass with glitter for a nebula jar, or make your own designs inspired by the world of Tevat with colorful paper, paint, string. So it's twenty poles and a pet.、Leaves. And place was that the、LED、same as last year's、like、anniversary award? Tea lights or fairy lights? I feel like it could be better, jar, but the light will pass through the different shapes. I'm gonna be honest with you, Chad. Unique and enchanting glow. I went in with low expectations yeah, for the anniversary awards, the so I'm not really disappointed. The Jenny has another DIY project that can add a lot of color to any Genshin-themed celebration. That's cute. Ain't that right, Jenny? Hey, that's right. I'm Jenny Okabori, wishing all the fans and players a We're also getting the events with Primos. That is true. Well, but I mean, events are a given. Though, that's you know, I have a soft spot for colorful. Events are a given thing. I feel like it could be better for the specific like the, the anniversary awards, but、smash. again, I went in with low expectations. All you need is a couple、it. of colorful balloons, confetti, and some art supplies. I'm still on the um the train that they should give us a free ten pull. Really, come in handy here. Each um each update, each update, like Honkai Star Rail does. Allows them to bounce around the room. Like the login event, we should do that. But if you want a floating enemo slime, you'll need to use helium. Shape the slime into a sphere by letting out a little air and tie off the end. Then go ahead and add some white eyes and any other details you'd like to give the slime a personality. That's cute. You can use white paint or paper for these eyes. Now, not only do you have some fun slime balloon decorations,、Aww. but when they pop, they'll explode in a burst of colorful confetti condensate. These balloons and starlight jar、That's、decorations、cute. can level up any Genshin party as we celebrate this three-year. We need loadouts, do for real. What do you create? We do need loadouts, please, for the love of God. Welcome back. In today's special event, we are able to celebrate this anniversary with the Genshin community. It is truly a joy and a great thing. Since Genshin Impact was released in 2020, I'm sure you've all created your own unique memories in Tevat. I have. These last three years have been extremely memorable, but also the members of our development team. Okay. What's up, Michael? Let's talk about the team's inner workings. Thank you, Dao Wei, for the inside story. 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 Thank you, Dao Wei, for the in
I'm honored to be here today sharing the project team's own story, okay? As we don't have that much time, what we've done is compile some interesting data to share with everyone. Okay. The way you've hit the nail on the head. Behind every number lies an ongoing effort and passion of Genshin Impact's developers. So let's look at our first batch of data. 10.8 million? Is the amount of people that uninstalled Genshin. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Total word count in the narrative text produced by our creative con- Dude, 10 million lines of text? Jesus Christ, dude. It's not easy to build up entire worlds from scratch. That is true. Remember the creative concept and writing team of Genshin Impact uses their own passion and talent to give each every vivid lifelike character. To craft every small story that tugs at the heartstrings and to build a vast and exquisite world. Travelers with keen eye will discover every nook and cranny of the games is filled with details. That is true. A lot of lore. Yeah, that's true. In fact, in order to make a fictional universe feel real enough, just relying on in-game text isn't enough. Before content can appear in front of travelers, the creative concept and writing team will first design all of it, even for the concept of design. Well, okay. Do I can't read that fast, Michael. Michael, slow down talking, okay, please. Thoroughly detailed reference documents that are sufficient to be... Right, okay, got it. For this reason, the content that appears in the game is only the tip of the creative iceberg. The number doesn't just represent the production of a game, but an accumulation of culture and creative banquet. Of course, the vast quantity of text is just one facet of the content in Genshin Impact. This number below looks much smaller, but it's also proof of the journey we all travelers have shared together. 74. <laughs> 74. Compared to the first number, that is definitely a little small. Yeah. <laughs> he said it's, it's a little bit smaller. 74. I think that way is already about to guess it. In fact, the number represents as a version 4.1 a total number of characters that have been released to travelers. Yep. Including Nouvellet and Rio. Uh, who, okay, it's hard to believe without even realizing it, we already have met so many new companions. Characters are indispensable in fascinating open world games. Every character in Genshin Impact has a unique backstory and their own emotional world. Uh, through dialogue, stories, and quests, travelers can learn more about the game and the characters as well. This kind of emotional resonance only helps you develop emotional connections to the characters. That is true, they do that very well. Genshin does that very well. In addition, characters are also an important part of the game's combat experience. Each character has unique combat skills and vision elements. Mm -hmm. Genshin's combat system is actually really good. Especially for a mobile free-to-play game. Very good. Are they explaining Genshin to us? I believe so. 215. This number comes with a unit of measurement attached to it. Gigabytes. <laughs> 250 gigabytes. Screw you, mobile players. <laughs> Good lord. Oh my god. Genshin Impact is a game that relies on cell shading to create a fantasy atmosphere. That means that almost all the realistic material, including modified pictures and motion capture animation, none of them can be directly used in the game. The entire 250 gigabytes of art assets are all from Genshin Impact artists, modelers, and dude, that's crazy. 
Each one is painstakingly created by hand. After carefully collecting reference materials, okay. I can't read that fast. Often will send me as scenes of the characters they have been working on, showing me with great pride. And though they were introduced their own children to me, oh my gosh. We have to consider whether the device players are using can carry such a huge amount of resources. So our tech team facing such a massive mountain of materials has to also put in a great deal of effort to evaluate and rank the performance of different uh, devices and platforms, breaking of the uh, resources and managing them precisely based on the different levels. Yeah, optimization, yeah. We've seen a lot of messages from travelers who think the space required for the fountain package is still too large. With regards to this, we are also aware we still, okay. They're going to continue other ways to optimize so we can bring you all the better experience. PS4 60 FPS when? Dude, PC 120 FPS when? 99.53 million players? So total number of Genshin Impact followers across the entire globe. Currently, Genshin Impact has more than 99 million followers, all oh, followers, not players, worldwide. So finding it hard to wrap my head around this number. When we first started this project, we never imagined we'd be able to achieve this. With so many travelers setting foot in the world of Tavat and creating beautiful memories together with us, this number represents the recognition that Genshin Impact has received from travelers everywhere, but also the greatest reward. At the same time, it's also an urgent reminder not to slack off because we carried the expectations of so many. That is true. Four billion? Four billion what? That's way too big. Like you, let's butt. I'm sorry. Looks like the way got a keen eye for kind of number. This is the total number of views that Genshin Impact's official videos have received. Oh my god, dude. Four billion views? That's crazy stuff, dude. Do you guys understand how many views that is? That's so crazy. Wow. I like these portions because it really shows you the care that the developer team. I know there's people like who play Genshin. They're like, they don't care about us. But like, dude, the dev team works really hard on this game. This game just doesn't come from nothing. There's so much work that gets put into this game. Since the servers launched, every version of Genshin Impact is included in an official fan-made video event. The number is the total number of global participants, and as of today, the number has reached 11.5 million. Wow. The number this large isn't surprising to me at all. Really, for Genshin Impact to achieve what it has, it would be impossible if it depended entirely on the efforts of our own... Okay. So like Genshin Impact to shine in many places outside the ground. Okay. I the joy with more and more new friends. Uh, okay. Content creators. That's cute. Though we couldn't include everyone in this statistic, we are still immensely grateful for all of you. We thank you, Michael, for sharing so much data with us. And I hope that above data was helpful to travelers who wish to understand the Genshin Impact Project and his team better. Next, we'll bring you the third redemption code, and we'll see you again in a moment. All right, third code, chat, third code. There he is. <gasps> I love that photo. Oh my God, all the Archons with the little birthday cake or the anniversary cake in the back. <gasps> I need that as a wallpaper, dude. Oh my God, I need that as a wallpaper. Look how radiant and beautiful Raiden Shogun looks, dude. Oh my God. Oh. I love it. That is so cute. And look at little Nahida. She looks so cute, dude. 
Put Walter in that. Yeah, we gotta put Walter somewhere in the background on that one, dude. Because he is an Archon. Where is Walter? <laughs> we need Walter there. He is the Archon, man. Mommy Ryan's there. I want that wallpaper. I know. Do I try pull for Zhongli or save? Zhongli is definitely worth it, in my opinion. I'd say pull, but I mean, Nouvellet and uh, Rizli's coming out soon, so I don't know. I would still say Zhongli's worth the pull. Who's Walter? My good luck um, whale back there. He's the wishing recon. Welcome back to version 4.1 special program. Okay. This new version, in addition to the original very content inside the game, we have also prepared some content outside the game world we'd like to share. Yes, the Genshin concert. I'm going to the Chicago one, chat. Dude, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I cannot wait. At the same time, concert theme merchandise is already available in official stores such as Genshin Impact flagship store. Ooh, okay. I will go check that out. Ooh. Wow. They literally went, look at that. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway. I can tell you the confidence is worth looking forward to. Thank you in advance for all your understanding. Okay. You follow official social media accounts as well to get more detailed information about the concert. Primo gems, name card, wind glider, and furnishing. Okay. Ooh.大家也可以关注官方消息。Michael，自从四点零前瞻节目啊，我们发布了枫丹交响音乐的现场，就收获了不少好评。许多旅行者都等着枫丹专辑上架呢。Beyond the way, I've been listening to it on repeat. Next bit of it, we have a for Gordon Fontaine OST album. Okay, that. Through the tourists, we continue to explore the Fontaine area. Our Fontaine music has been always with us on our journeys. In the summer of 2014, we will release the first Fontaine OST album, Fountain of the Lu. The album will feature four discs featuring all the original music that Hoyo Mix team created in the Fontaine region. Yes, this music is very good, water tasting. Yeah, do the combat music. So good. Alright, music time, baby. God, dude. I literally cannot wait for the concert, man, to go and listen to this live. Oh my God. Dude, music is top tier banger, dude. So much talent. And I feel like a lot of people don't appreciate music in video games, you know? Because imagine a video game without music, it would, like, the mood would not be there, right? Music adds so much more than a lot of people realize, you know? And this is, like, banger music, man. This gives me Final Fantasy vibes. I wonder if they get inspiration from other games for music. 
This gives me Final Fantasy VII uh, vibes. Senora? Dude, imagine how fun they had filming of this, dude. So you're gonna be on a boat just playing your guitar. All right, bet. And this guy's just getting a free show. So good. I'm definitely vibing. That guy's my favorite. With his little tiny trumpet. I love that. Either that dude is like humongous and the trumpet looks small in his hands or it's just a small trumpet. But like, dude, that trumpet looks so small for him. Dude, I know Marco Meatball is like eating this up right now, dude. Oh, that was God. That was awesome. That was sick. And some people on Twitter said the music's not that great and funny. We'll lift the curtain and give travelers a behind the scenes look at the making of the music after the album's release. Ooh, okay. Oh, it is a smaller trumpet. Okay, actually a smaller trumpet. I didn't know that. Ace Reporter on the case. Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact! This is Maya Aoki Tuttle reporting. Of course, you might know me as Charlotte, Ace Reporter. And with the upcoming anniversary, I decided to put my journalistic skills to the test. And what better way than to get the scoop on the voice artist for some of our favorite characters? Therefore, Ace Reporter Maya is on the case. With me are Max my Middleman better be in Damon this. Mills and Inaris Kinones. Greetings. Hey everybody. The world of Tavat sports a diverse cast, so let's hear about what all the talent has to say. For those that live too long, the friends of days oh, gone by and scenes from their adventures live on in their memories. The little microphone? As such, <laughs> I have no regrets in meeting you, friend. Should the day ever come that we are not together, you will continue to shine like gold in my memories. Thank Hello, you. everyone. My name is Keith Silverstein. I voice the Geo Archon Zhang Li. Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact. Happy anniversary, Keith. To thank everyone who had a part in bringing Genshin Impact to life. And I mean everyone. Uh, no matter how large or small your role in bringing this game to life has been. And that includes the entire Genshin Impact community, which is amazing that I could even just say that. It's a very special thing when a game comes out and is so popular that an entire community is born alongside it. That's true. And so long as it's bringing this much joy to the world, long may it rain. Why is he going to make me cry? Hi, I'm Alejandro Saab, and I'm the voice Alejandro. of Sino in Genshin Impact. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? I'd like to thank the Academy. No, <laughs> no I'm all serious. No, seriousness. <laughs> um, I'm grateful to be a part of this game, and uh, Genshin going on for three years, I've been a fan, and this last year, 
getting to be a part of it was super, like, just super humbling, super... Uh, I, I'm at a loss for words, because Sino was the character when I first saw him in the Tavat trailer. I was I like, love him. dang, I'd really like to play that guy. That'd be so cool. And it, it, it happened, and it it was just so cool, and I... It just makes me really happy again to the opportunity to be this guy. Uh, everybody thinks I've been saying terrible jokes now because of Sino, but that's not true. I started saying terrible jokes it because of my true. partner and uh, my it friends around true. me. I could say one right now. Oh, uh, uh, no, they cut I'm him Sean off. They said cut him off. I play Baiju. Do you have an cut anniversary message you'd like to share? Cut him off. Well, happy anniversary to Genshin Impact, and I just want to thank everyone <laughs> who has been playing the game and Baiju. enjoying the game. That's really why we make it, so you can have fun playing it. So thank you so much for being a part of it. My favorite Genshin memory of the past year was Baiju becoming a playable character. That was so exciting to go from someone you kind of stopped in and chatted with for a second to someone who is going on a quest and saving the day. So yeah. that's absolutely my favorite memory of the past year. Hey there, my name is Nazi Tarsha, and I play All Hate Them in Genshin Impact. What is your favorite story from the past year? The infamous traitor, traitor, azar, anger <laughs> scene that All Hate Them has, uh, just because it was really fun seeing the reception to that. That and it was, was very a fun good recording, scene. You know, it's All Hate Them is very reserved, very kind of to himself. So having this one moment where he breaks character putting on an act of course but still like showing more emotion than anyone has ever seen him do yeah. was very fun to kind of go into in terms of the game the thing that i want to say is congratulations for going you know three plus years strong the the world that they've managed to build is nothing short of impressive and also seeing the sort of fans admiration toward the game is you know, nothing short of delightful, really, because there is just such an enthusiasm and such a passion with the fan base. So seeing this sort of relationship between the two is endearing, and the fact that I get to, you know, kind of share in both of these experiences is awesome. Hey, what's up? I'm Zach Gordon. I am the voice of Tainari. If Zach I have Gordon. one anniversary message, it's I can't wait till the next year and the year after that, and I hope to be around for uh, as long as we all enjoy the game. So thank you. What is something you like or admire about your character? One thing that, if I may say so myself, I, I feel like we worked really hard to do well, was his ability to care about Kale. And, and I think that a lot of people that really know what they believe in and, and feel that they're very intelligent, quote unquote, I think sometimes the ego can get in the way of that. And one thing that I really admire about Tainari is that he's able to put that aside and, and really focus on what matters, which is being able to articulate and, and translate what he knows I like and pass this. it on to uh, a student or an apprentice, somebody like Kale, and so I think to sum it all up, compassion. I think Tainari is a very compassionate individual. He gets the character, We certainly dude. tried our best to love that. infuse that into the role. My name is Ben Balmaceda. I voice Kave. Do you have an anniversary message you'd you. like to share? I love you. After seeing Genshin when it first came out, I had no doubt that it was going to be something special and it was going to stand the test of time. There's so much potential to be had in Tevat and like so many new people to meet and, and places to explore and travel to. The game's just a gem and like as far as people that have helped me get this far, like I just want to thank all my friends that Aww. are part of the cast, all of the Sumeru so crewmeru. Um, and also to all the fans, like they've been so lovely and welcoming and it's such a lovely community. It's just been a wonderful journey, and I hope that it continues uh, far past the horizon. What's up? My name is Patrick. Yo, Madraza. let's go. I'm the Patrick. voice of Scaramouche, the Balladeer, Wanderer, Hat Guy, a man of many names. Hat Guy. Well, three years, man, that's a long time. <sighs> I have no idea what the future's gonna bring for the game, for me, but I'm just, like, I don't wanna sound cliche, but I'm really super grateful to be part of this. What is your favorite story from the past year? 
Oh, my favorite... My favorite scene, oh gosh, there's so many. Uh, it's like the <laughs> boss battle. The When I first saw the boss battle when I was doing the session, I was like, this is going to be insane. And the the boss battle theme, oh yeah, my gosh. Yeah, that's true. That, that was, was a pretty like epic. Insane. But then I was battle. like, oh my gosh, I saw the end. And then Scaramouche just goes straight on his head, looking right at you. Poof. Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of sad, but it was kind of a, uh, yeah, it's my favorite one. Hmm. Hi, I'm <gasps> Anyatko. I voice Raiden right Shogun. Shogun. And A. And Makoto. And a handful of NPCs. I love her voice. I can't believe that Genshin Impact has been going on strong for three years, and we've got plenty more to go. I'm so excited for what the future holds for Tevat. I am just starting to explore Fontaine and getting through the Fontaine Archon Quest, and it is so, so much fun so far. And I just really want to thank so the fans, all of the travelers who have been on this journey with us for the past three years. None of this would mean anything without you guys. So True. thank you for playing. Thank you for loving this game. What's one of your favorite character yeah. lines? Okay, I get asked this a lot, and the answer is the about Ito line. <laughs> Who? <laughs> I just think it's so funny Who? how in one word you get to know exactly what Raiden Shogun thinks <laughs> of the one and only. We have that command. Ito that never fails to make me laugh. Please have Ito be next. No, Hi, that would have been so Nintendo, funny if they I'm did the that. I'm the voice of Nahida, the Dendro Archon in Genshin Impact. Hi, Kimberly. What was your favorite memory of the past year? Um, okay, so there are a lot, and no surprise, there are a lot to do with Nahida. But I would say that one of my favorite memories from last year would have to be when Nahida's trailer dropped. She has two trailers, but the one in particular that comes to mind is the one where she's going through her birthday over and over again, and it starts off as happy, and then it's like, oh, okay, it's still kind of yep. happy, but yep. then I remember it that trailer. gets really dark and like really depressing. I remember and reacting to that Even though one. it's like a really sad video, it was like super well done and i was like oh yeah. my gosh this is so good and like seeing everybody's reactions to it like i've watched like a ton of reactions from like streamers youtubers it was like just amazing to see everybody's reaction to it i could not yeah. wait for it to come out i'm glad it turned out as well as it did well there <gasps> no, you have it folks. straight from the mouths of some of our Love favorite it, characters so. it's <clears throat> Isn't there someone you've forgotten? Two someones, to be exact. Oh, 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 oh I, I was totally about to get to you guys, I swear. <laughs> right, that's what I thought. Can you give us a short intro? My name is Damon Mills, and I voice Linny, the greatest magician in all Tibet. Is there anything you want to say to the community about your character? I think Linny and Lynette's story is quite fascinating Linny. because I think Linny. <laughs> incredibly fun characters. The voice is so different. All about Razzle Dazzle, but their collective past is so dark and painful. I mean, they both mask it really well, particularly yeah. Lenny, who appears front-facing very confident, but he's burdened by his ties to the Batui, growing up as an orphan, kind of acting as a parent to his siblings. I feel like he was forced to grow up really fast, and I guess I can relate to that. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? I still remember when Genshin first came around, and I thought it was the neatest concept. I know this game has gotten so many people through so much stuff, and I'm really excited to finally be a part of it in such a big way. It's really special to me, and I can't wait to see where the rest of the game goes. My name is Anaris Kinanis, and I am the voice of Lynette. And I actually adore cats, so this is a true That's like honor. perfect, then. <laughs> is there anything you want to say to the community about your character? Yeah, uh, Lynette... Lynette is really fun for me because, you know, she is the the deadpan kind of, I guess, emotionless character archetype, but we did try to elevate her from that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really fun uh, trying to, you know, keep that feel, that base feel of her being deadpan, but also adding enough nuance so that she is an interesting character. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? Yeah, three years, that's crazy. Um, I'm very excited. I'm excited to see future characters. I'm Me excited too. to see more Fontaine um, and more Lynette, of course. Uh, 
And um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for being so supportive. This has been stuff. a really sweet um, thing that they did. I like it's, this. Uh, it's been a blast. And we love you, Luna. I can't wait to see you guys enjoy the rest of it. There you have it, folks. For real this time. I'm Linny, the magician. So what I really like about my character, (laughs) that part made me laugh so much. His voice is so different, dude. So different. Alright, this is the end. I would express my sincerest gratitude to every traveler on behalf of the entire project team. Thank you all, travelers, for your continued support and love for Genshin Impact. Ever since Genshin Impact's release, it is only because of your passion and willingness to accompany us on this journey that we keep moving forward. Looking back at the time we've shared, on all the valuable feedback and suggestions that travelers have given to us, we will continue to constantly optimize the gameplay experience and release more high-quality game content to allow everyone to enjoy even more fun in the game. In the future, we will continue to stick to this philosophy whether for new characters, stories, or gameplay modes, we will bring all of our passion to produce more surprises and challenges for you to enjoy. What do you want to do? What is this? What happened? What happened? What the hell was that? We didn't miss anything, chat. He was just telling us how much he loves us and how Genshin Impact is going to keep improving. Happy three years, Genshin Impact. Oh, that's cute. I love that. Is that it? No anime news? No anime news? Oh, man. That was still cute, though. That was still cute. I did like that. There it is. That's the end, chat. That's the end. What do you guys think? And no loadouts either, I know. Dude, I got scared for a second. I'm like, oh my god, no, we're going to miss some good stuff. What do you guys think? I Overall, I thought that was a good presentation. Um, a good, like, developer stream. Um, some good stuff. I'm excited for the new story quest and everything. The new events look pretty fun. New places to explore. Anniversary rewards are what I thought they would be. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Overall, I, I'm excited for 4.1. It was nice. A lot of, like, heartfelt moments, too, especially from, like, the, um, the, the voice actors, you know, talking and all of that, too. I, I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. I'd give, like, a solid, like, 8 or anything.